Welcome! In this video we will do some exercises to stretch and strengthen your wrist. Please come to sit in a comfortable position. And then extend your arms out to the sides or up overhead, it doesn't matter. And we're going to start by opening and closing your fists as fast as you possibly can. And we'll do this for one minute. So stay strong. You can do this. You're probably feeling this in your wrists and forearms already. And maybe if one hand is tiring out faster than the other and that's normal. Keep going, opening and closing fully as best as possible. Stay with it, I know it's getting hard. Just keep it going a little bit more. Opening and closing again and again. Keep it going for three, two, one. And shake it out, let that go. Palms on the thighs, rest for a moment. Close your eyes maybe. And let's stretch it out right away. Make a fist with both palms, tucking the thumbs into the fists and then reach the arms out. Like you're pouring something out of a big jug, getting a nice stretch into the sides of your wrists Extend them out to the sides. Release that and now wrap your thumb around outside your fingers. Reach both arms straight in front of you and then roll your knuckles straight down to the ground. You can think of like you're trying to touch the undersides of your forearms with your knuckles. And if you want to, you can start to draw little half circles from left to right. Can, you can imagine drawing a smiley face. And release, shake it out once more. Now coming to all fours. For another strengthening exercise, palms flat on the mat, hips over the knees, fingers spreading wide. And then you're going to do almost like little mini push-ups, I like to call them, but only with your wrists. So stay. So try to lift the heels of your palms up and then back down to the mat as best as you can. So just the wrists lift, the fingers stay flat on the ground the whole time. And it doesn't matter how much you can lift them. Even just a few inches do the job. And it's also not about how fast you're going. Take your time. And you'll start to feel your wrists and forearms again. It doesn't take much of this. Again, stay with it for just a few more seconds, lifting and lowering your wrists, fingers staying on the floor the whole time. And let's come into a stretch right away, pointing your fingertips towards your knees, palms still flat on the floor, fingers spreading wide to push into the heels of your palms. And just that action is often enough to feel a stretch, but if you want to intensify this, Start to take your weight back into your hips and then slowly start to bend into your elbows a little bit. Lifting your palms off the ground, fingers staying down. And slowly lifting it all the way up. Taking a few moments to do some wrist rolls to release. Just rolling out the wrists in one direction and then the other direction. Sitting down on our heels or however comfortable. For our last exercise we'll do some shaking with the hands. So shake your hands as fast as possible and we will do this for one more minute. 
So just shake the wrists vigorously. You can shake them up and shake them back down again. Just shake, shake, shake. Up and down. This is really great for anyone who writes a lot or plays an instrument. Or just if you do a lot of yoga with planks and downward dogs. Really good for all the tiny joints and muscles. Keep it shaking, shake, shake, shake. Just a little bit longer. Last few seconds here, shaking the wrists. Stay with it. And release. Palms flat on the thighs. Take a deep breath in and out. And notice in what ways your wrists hands and forearms feel different now. Thank yourself for taking this time for your practice. Palms come together at heart center. Namaste. I hope your wrists are feeling energized, stretched and strong. Please leave me a comment below if you like this class. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and share this video with your family and friends to support free yoga online. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.